Welcome to part two of math today. Um, okay, so we're starting on a project for the people who have finished everything they need to from all of the work on Seesaw, okay? So just quickly to review, um, I need to see that you have made all of your edits to this, okay? Um, the tricky word problems and uh, conversions. And then I'm also checking that you have submitted and you have accurately done the number word, the number line and the button questions, okay? So um, you're each just gonna kind of be in touch with me a little bit on an individual basis for whether you have finished everything. So you have to go into those two assignments and check how you have done, okay? Um, if you have the green light, you are done everything and you get it, you're ready to go on, then this is what we're doing next. So um, we are, this is probably one of my most favorite parts of math um, for the year because we're doing a project. And if we were at school, what would we, what we would be doing is we would be um, going into groups and you guys would be having a day where we actually turn our classroom into a kitchen and we would do some cooking. And we would have parent volunteers come in and they would help us run the ovens and everything. Um, but since you're at home, this is actually kind of cool because this way, every single person is going to actually make something um, of your own because in the past, well, when I'm doing this as the class, we go in groups and you'd have to do like, you'd have to collaborate and decide which recipe you're gonna make. So this is kind of cool because everyone gets to do the recipe that they want. Um, and it's helpful towards your family because then you get to learn a different skill and then hopefully share it with those around you. So this is what it is, okay. Um, alrighty, so we are making this fraction, okay, I'm just gonna put my face over here, okay. So the fraction book, cookbook, what you're doing is there's a couple different parts to this and I'm, we're gonna have like different parts due each day. Um, so for, first of all, what you're doing is just coming up with recipe ideas. Um, sorry, I'll just read this. Okay, so as a wrap up to our fraction ratio and percent unit of math, we're going to put our measurement skills to work. Our grade six math class is going to uh, create different recipes to showcase the variety of foods from different cultural backgrounds in our class. Yes, so what I would like you to do is ideally brainstorm like three to five different recipes that you might want to make. Um, yeah, and really like as long as your parents say that they have the ingredients to make this and they're like willing to help you make that, um, or if it's like quite easy for you to do and you're like happy to do it on your own, um, that's also fine as long as your parents are okay with you like doing that, whatever it happens to be. There could be stuff that's easy, such as like a dip maybe, that would would not involve anything hot um, and that wouldn't involve like any cooking elements. Um, but if you are doing something like you wanna make like a soup or maybe you wanna make cookies or muffins or a cake, or maybe you wanna make like, I don't know, something else like a curry or something like that, then you might need to have your parents helping you with that. Okay, so I'm gonna say this in my um, message to the parents tonight. Okay, so first of all, brainstorm three to five ideas, ideally related somehow to your cultural background. So it doesn't really, I'm not gonna be like super picky on this, um, like Rajivi doesn't have to cook something that her mom makes um, if she wants to learn how to make brownies or something, you can do that too, okay? Um, it is kind of cool though if we get like different recipes from different parts of the world. Um, okay, so this is the criteria for, so this is just kind of your brainstorming. And then we're going to go into actually, like today, you're actually gonna just choose one recipe. So these are the criteria that you have to meet for the recipe, okay? So it's kind of a little bit mathy. Um, okay, there has to be three or more ingredients. Doesn't work if you say I'm making a punch and there's only like two ingredients, no, okay? So three or more ingredients. Um, and the more kind of like that you have involved, then um, that's just a little bit harder and you're challenging yourself. So that's like going to be for this project, getting a little bit more into like an E category if you're giving yourself 
um, a little bit more ingredients to work with. Um, okay, so the recipe must be written in cups, okay? So if it is something that you have as grams or milliliters, then you would need to convert it into cups, okay? And I'm gonna put this on the website. I have a nice chart for us. Looks kind of like this, okay? So say that you had one cup of something, it's 240 milliliters. You can easily go online also and figure out what the um, milliliter proportion would be, okay? Um, right, you might need the internet to help you with this. Okay, so you have to have this other thing. There has to be at least one quantity must be over a full unit. So that means that there has to be something that has either like um, one and a half cups, for example, of sugar, or maybe three and a quarter cups of flour, or two and a, two and a half teaspoons of salt, whatever. Um, so there has to be something that is that can be shown as a mixed number fraction with a full, okay? Um, or else the math stuff won't really work for this. So at least minimum one ingredient, okay? Um, oh yeah, okay, try to avoid sugar just because we kind of want to like aim for healthier options. But if you really want to learn how to make, I don't know, cake or brownies or whatever that has sugar, I'm not going to say no. And then, oh yeah, for class I said no nut products, but this one you don't have to pay attention to unless there are certain allergies within your family. Okay, so this is for, okay, so what you're gonna do, so my recipe is um, what? I'm gonna be posting this page onto um, Edmodo for you to see, okay? And then all that I would like back tomorrow is that you have chosen your recipe, so you can even just like send, like just like take a picture of the recipe or you can upload it from the internet or whatever you want. Somehow you have to show me what recipe you are going to do. I'm gonna make a spot for that on Seesaw, okay? So you're just sending me the recipe that you wanna do. Maybe it's handwritten, maybe it's an image from something, whatever, okay? Um, I might, I, I don't really actually care where you got, what the source of the recipe is, that's fine. Um, okay. So, right, you have to include, okay, also please make sure that you, on your recipe, um, the instructions are also in there because in the past we've had people that found these really cool recipes and then they don't know how to actually make it when we get there. So make sure that if you're finding one online that you actually get the whole recipe, not just the quantities. Um, and then, yeah, if there's any items that you need to prepare it, um, actually that one I'm gonna say, this is gonna be optional because when we're doing this in class, um, we do this in class, I had to make sure that we were all organized with all the right tools, but since you're at home, it's gonna be way easier. Okay, so that is due tomorrow. So basically you're picking one recipe um, that has at least three ingredients with at least minimum one quantity that has at least one full unit. Okay, so, have fun. If you have any questions, post them under this video so that, because if other people have questions, it's gonna be easier to just reread the posts rather than, um, yeah, me answering a million times in private messages. Okay, there we go. This is gonna be so much fun. So this is gonna take us like pretty much the entire week to do, because um, we're gonna move through like one part of this task at a time. Okay, uh, good work, see you soon.